So the three on, on, on week seven. We have um there's a data analysis techniques class by 9 a.m. UTC and then the CBS session by 10 30. And the intern submission is also due today. So yes, that's what we have today. But um given what we've been doing from uh, Monday to from Monday yesterday and yeah. Do you have any challenge? What's your progress on on the tax so far? So on Monday, we did um, handling data and data visualization, and also collecting and data collection. So have you faced any challenge so far, or do you have any questions and? What's your progress? Are you able to submit the interim submission today? Anyone wants to share? Yeah. All right, Abdullah is gone. Okay, thank you guys. Uh, from the yesterday challenge, uh, we tried to search the data from the listed site and some of the datas are not available from the listed set. So we tried to, I tried to make some sort of Googling and I already finished the task for the interim submission and everything is going good with me. Okay, that's good to hear. So you are done with, um, you are able to collect the data and you've made, have you submitted the interim or, what, or you have everything ready or it's not yet submitted? everything is ready for i think when the link is available i will submit and okay okay that's great to hear well done Thank you. yeah so any other person wants to share um zelfa ilia sustain how far along are you with your tax do you have any challenge or uh, what's your progress Hello, everyone. Hello, we can hear you go on. On the manga vaccine, the Oh, I was, I was trying to understand what Abdullah is saying. <laughs> so, for me, it has been tough. I, I've actually realized that that analysis is tough. I've, uh, I've gone through the task one has been somewhat challenging. Uh, I I had to 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 try and incorporate some Python. I I've, I've learned about pandas, numpty. I've managed to install it, and I can say I've made a progress. And I think I'll be able to submit the interim submission in time. Okay, so um, well done, Sosti. So you are making progress, but so far, do you have any challenge that we can maybe address together here? Not really. I I took the initiative, which they say just self learning, and I've made some strides. So I'm being, I'm enjoying the process. Okay. Okay. Well done. So you're able to submit today. I think so. I think so. All right. Well done. I hope so too. Um, any other person wants to share their progress? Or... Maybe. Good morning, everyone. If I can interrupt here. So still, why were you using Pandas, NumPy, and things? They are, you know, they're also data analyzing and cleaning methods, but we were expecting you guys to just use the, uh, not to use the coding methods. Okay, so were you trying I... the coding method? Yeah, I, I tried. I tried the Google Sheet, and th there was some aspect to uh, th the data is too large, so I wanted to break it into small parts pieces. And after some googling, I was directed to use Python to make it into little parts. But eventually, I, I came back to Google Sheets. Okay. 
So maybe I was wondering, Abdul Aziz had just mentioned that he was he 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 were, he was able to do the analysis part. So maybe uh -huh. you can share us something, Abdul Aziz, about the task. Uh, Abdul Aziz. Yes. Did you no. hear this question or? No, no, I didn't hear her. Okay, I was just wondering. Uh, I heard uh, that you were able to accomplish task one in task two. So maybe if you can share us something about task one, what methods, I mean, not the details, but the general aspect, okay. what methods have you used and things like that? Okay, I tried, first I tried to download the data set and uh, I performed some kind of data cleaning and uh, preparation in Google Sheet. Uh, I tried uh, replacing some of the missing value uh, and outliers. Uh, actually, for the prepar for the data uh, cleaning part, I used uh, one tool, which is Weka. So I tried replacing those missing value and outlier using that particular tool. And after that, uh, I tried to do some sort of visualization using uh, pivot table. So. I made some pivot table and based on that pivot table, I tried to create a graph and that's what I have done for task two and for tasks two, for task one and for task two, I collected those data for those specific cities, uh, their housing, grocery, education and healthcare. So I tried to use some other sites for collecting some comprehensive uh, historical data set and I made it in tabular form at the last page. For That's what I have done so far. Okay, thank you, Abdullah. This maybe uh, other people might learn something from it. Okay, so then I think you have some question for Abdullah. Yeah. Maybe Abdullah can tell us for the, for the pivot tables, which metrics did he use to, to, make, it, to make the pivot table show or represent the whole data set okay what i have done is i tried to use uh, those polytons right carbon dioxide ozone those polytons against those cities against uh, specific men's so i tried some sort of combination to make uh, to give a sense that's what i have done actually. You just use a, a small sample or the whole data set. I tried. I sell, I tried to select some attributes. Uh, so, I mean, when you create some sort of table, you, you might need to guess which combination, which part will be, com which combination would make sense, right? So I tried to do that. I mean some city with some polytant with uh, against some months against a year against a city okay okay all right um, thank you abdul aziz so so seen and maybe any other person that has similar challenge hope you've gotten some clues from what abdul aziz explained All right, great. So if you have any further questions, you can just ask here or um, on this live channel and reach out to any of these posts. So any other person wants to share their progress or do are you facing any challenge currently on any of the tasks? Let me see. Gilbert, how are you doing with the challenge, Habib? Yes, she. Jose Rufai, any any person who wants to share their progress? Okay, can I add some point on the pivot tables? I opened my Excel and let me explain looking at it. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so I mean, I tried to do some op uh, four options. For example, the first option is 
I tried to analyze temporal trend by country. So I made the x-axis, the combination of Manzi and Uri, and then the y-axis sulfur dioxide and just any other pollutant. So I tried to do that using line chart. And uh, based on that graph, it's easier to find which is the best country to move on. And on option two, I, uh, some pol pollutant correlation by country, which is a scatter kind of plot. And option three, a heat map by location. So I tried to set uh, lo latitude and longitude. Uh, these are, uh, for example, option four, a box plot. And the, on the x-axis, I tried to put the country. And on the y-axis, those pollutants. And it is it chart type is its box plot. So I made those kind of uh, graphs based on the data. Thank you. All right. Um, thank, thank you. you. Okay. okay. So, any other person who wants to share their progress? Or oh, I should assume that we will be making the um, interim submission today. Sorry for uh, noisy sound uh, on my side. Uh, all is safe. And, uh, I'm ready to submit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. Just a clarification on the submission. Um, it was agreed that um it would be a link to the Google Sheets themselves. Um, instead of like um, yeah a link to the Google Sheets with the progress that you've made so far. That's what the interim submission is, right? Yes, Leah. Yeah. Uh, it's the same as uh, the previous submissions. You're going to share the link that you've done uh, the task one and task two maybe for the entry according to the document. So at the end of the day, you're going to submit a link of your Google sheet. I don't understand what part of the it was computing. Is there anything mentioned? Other things on the document? I think on the interim submission, it's a single PDF file with minimum of two page and a maximum of six page. That's yeah. what it says on the document. Yep. But we're going to share the link of the PDF file again. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Thank you. So, um, any other question? Mazia. Uh, yes. Uh, maybe I can ask a question on the data cleaning part, like. Uh, uh, first of all, I've noted that uh, I'm not sure if that's always the case to to go to, I mean, if, to highlight the column and then go to and then go to the data cleaning part to see if there are any missing values or any duplicates. Is that the, the route to take? And uh, the second part is uh, uh, when cleaning the data, uh, do we necessarily have to understand uh, the meaning of uh, of the data? For instance, uh, what to do with duplicates and what to do with missing values? Or if I have to replace uh, with the mod range or or mean? And then uh, if whatever analysis I do, then I get different uh, uh, plots, for instance, uh, depending on whether I have used the mean or the mod, uh, what, what, what should you make of this? Uh, or, or it just depends on your opinion or your understanding of the data? Okay, maybe for the second, I haven't heard the first question clearly. Wait, let's just answer the second question. For the data, should we understand every data? For, for that question, um, at the end, you're going to make some recommendation. So maybe, let's say, having that much sulfur dioxide, it's just an example. If, if it is not going to affect the environment that much, 
having even large amount of data seed or uh, yeah data seed in the air is not going to have that impact on your analysis so in order to have a good recommendation in analysis at the end it's better for you to understand the data and also maybe there will be some parameters or like data that might not affect the whole analysis or you're in the goal. So for that purpose, it's better if you can understand the data and their impact on the environment. What was the other question, Sina? Okay, thank you. So the other question was, uh, if I've got a large uh, data set, uh, for me to check the missing values in a, a specific column, do I have to go to the data and then do uh, the go to cleanup and then check uh, uh, like you did in the tutorial? Is that, is that the best way to check if there are any missing values or there's another way? Yeah, if there are, if the, the, the amount of missing values in the data is the uh, first option that you have to check whether what amount of cleaning that the data will have. Okay. The first one is the, like, the amount of the missing data and the other one is even an outlier. There's a number, but how much the number is true or how much it is telling that like it is telling that's was okay. So to, the first one is checking the missing values and then the uh, outlier values. And then go oh. to the like uh, methods, replacing them, duplicating them or removing them. Oh, okay. Uh, I haven't seen how to, how to replace them. Uh, do I go one by one or this uh, one, just one method? to use to replace if for instance there's many of them that are missing so maybe uh, i would what i've seen like there is a method to replace every uh i was about to mention it in the tv session there's a method to replace uh, every empty cell with one value or empty cell from that column or things check for that but i was not it was not working for me for the day of the session for some reason i was going to mention for you to try it, try that method. One, like it's like you're going to control if and then um, find and replace. There is the find and there is the replace. So on the find place, you're going to put an empty, um, since we want to replace the empty parts, you're going to put the empty, an empty, like you're going, you're not going to write anything or you're going to put the space. And then on the replace part, the number that you want to write try this method but also i think that the uh, the, the two that abdullah just mentioned earlier if i'm not mistaken it's uh, one of them it's uh, it helps to replace the numbers right abdullah is am i right you are right so maybe uh, like uh, communicate with abdullah and you, you can also try that too okay okay thank you thank you very much okay see you. thank you Right, thank you um, with it. So any other person has maybe any question? We have eight minutes left. So will you all be submitting the interim to today? Gilbert, Gitele, Habib, you making your submissions today? Okay, okay. So let me see who has not said anything on this call. Yes, she, Yoga, Sheo. So, do you have any challenge or you want to share your progress with us? You can just use the. Okay, yeah, good. All right. So, that is. It's safe to assume that our questions have been answered and we are good to go and we'll be able to make our submissions today. Is it safe to assume that or do you have any other questions you want to ask? You can just react to this using the emoji so we know if we should continue the session or call it a day. Hello, can you guys hear me? Okay. 
Okay, so I think that is all. If there is no other question, then we can um, go and prepare for today. And just to recap on what we have, so there is the there is the tutorial um, on data analysis techniques by 9 a.m. UTC, and it's for an hour. Then after that, we have the community building session, which will be by 10.30 a.m. And we should try to engage in that. It will be taking place on the Slack channel. And then you work on your challenge and make the submission. The deadline for interim submission is 8 p.m. UTC. So that is all for today. Enjoy the rest of your day and have a beautiful and productive day ahead. Right.